Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. So today we are going to talk about integration runtime in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse. Integration runtime is a compute infrastructure. So when we design any pipeline inside Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse uh, pipeline, and we use different type of flow or either we use data flow or for data movement we generally use copy data activity from different stores one store might be in azure blob second store might be into azure sql and also we write some other activity like we have to run some notebooks in azure data bricks or ml or any other things we want to execute something then that is the activities Sometimes we have scenario where we have to lift and shift our native SQL Server Integration Service packages into Azure. That time we have SSS packet execution. So all this goes into somewhere into compute infrastructure into Azure Data Factory or Synapse. And that's integration, uh, that compute in infrastructure we call as integration run. So integration runtime type, there are three runtime types right now supported inside Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. The Azure hosted runtime, self-hosted runtime and Azure SSIS package one. So if we see this matrix, Azure once runs activities between different cloud store. If you have a source into one cloud and second one into same cloud or different cloud, then it we can use that kind of integration runtime. If you have something, one store or something you want to connect with your private network in office network or that also provides all the same activities like data movement activity, dispatch and other things, but it also supports inside the private network. Azure SSIS, when we have to lift and shift our existing SSIS workload, then it's provided the SSIS packet execution. So there, they, this compute infrastructure will have different kind of packages installed, which will run, which will understand the SSIS package and start running that one. So, if we see that the more details for self-hosted runtime, generally we use for this purpose in Azure Data Factory. If we have to move something from cloud to inside any corporate or from corporate to inside cloud, then we install self-hosted runtimes into corporate virtual machine or a physical machine. And then we set up some application over there and we will go ahead in this demo and we will set up this one. And then this read and write request happens inside on-premises storage. Either it will be a file server or either it can be uh, SQL Server, so that that we can see. So let's go ahead and inside Azure portal and let's start creating this uh, integration runtime and we will do for the self-hosted. So right now we are in Azure portal and we have already a resource group created for this demo and we have a couple of resources inside this resource group. One is Azure Data Factory and one is Synapse. How to create this factory and Synapse, we can, you can see the previous videos. We have uh, videos where we have created factory and Synapse. Let's launch the studio, Azure Data Factory Studio and see that how we can create the self-hosted runtime. So we will, we are going to install the runtime into our local machine and we will connect with cloud. So let's go to manage section. And in manage section, if we have seen integration runtime tab, till now in most of the demo, we have leveraged this Azure uh, type of runtime. So this is um, auto resolve integration runtime, which is type Azure. And we have used this one and the, we can see the more details for what is the data flow runtime on that. So this is what we have used. Let's create a new one for creating a new one. Let's create, uh, click on the create. And when we create that one, there are two options we can get. One is Azure and self-hosted. One is for Azure SSIS. So as we talked about in PP that if we want to perform data flow across uh, and movement from external compute, we can use that. Or if you want to lift shift existing SSIS package uh, and execute in Azure, we can use Azure SSIS. So for uh, this demo, we are going to use Azure and self-hosted. Let's go next. Now here, there are three options we have. Either we can go in fully in Azure, 
then it will do everything into public networks like clouds and other thing cloud store if we want to go for private network or on premise network then we can use self hosted and we can see more details that right now data flow is only supported into azure integration runtime so that's where we have to see and then uh, if we have any other teams or anything has already any existing self-hosted runtime, then you can share that one. So in that case, we can link this self-hosted runtime and we can see. So let's go into self-hosted runtime and let's click on the continue. And let's put that name. Okay. And this is, if you see type is self-hosted, let's go ahead and create. And now if you see there are options how to download this one and how to uh, connect one. So let's go ahead and download this runtime. And this is the runtime. We are going to Microsoft integration runtime. So let's download this one. I'm going to download the new version, which is 5.23. So let's go and download this. It will take some time because it is 978 MB. Now download has completed. So let's open that file. Let's click next. Accept the term and condition. Let's click next. Let's install the software. Let's click on finish button. Now this is the place where we have to provide more details and register this runtime and this is self-hosted and register with Azure Data Factory or Synapse. So let's go to Azure Data Factory. Now we can grab this key which is here and we can go and put it in detail here and we can say register. So this key is successful. It validated that this is proper key since with the format and then let's register this. So now it is verifying authentication and now it is going to run. So let's please finish this one. It, it is there and let's finish that. Now it is connecting to cloud services. It is initializing and other things is happening. Okay, so it says that it is done, right? So we can go and launch configuration manager or close that one. Let's see that one. It says that it is connected to cloud services. We can stop services. We can back up and other things. We can see the setting. If we enable this setting, we can manage from internet cloud portal itself, or we can run diagnostic and we can run update settings and other things. So let's go ahead it here and let's see in our that right now it is connected let's refresh this one and it is running right now so what version is there we can go and see the details for version we can see what is the name of this system uh, where we have connected and how to do auto update and other things we can use that one and how we can generate this one to share that the other data factory or user managed identity we can see the details also so let's this is what i wanted to do in adf how to set up this integration runtime is self-hosted let's go and see in terms of snaps how to do that there are similar ui but let's open the synapse studio so once synapse analytics uh, opens and we are a home page we can go to manage section an integration runtime similar to this one we have seen into ADF. This is auto resolve runtime, which is type Azure and same as data flow runtime. We can see here. And if we click the new same options here, there are three options links web self hosted was there. But in case if we want to go ahead and inside that Azure uh, self hosted, there are only two options right now Azure and self hosted. So linking the link existing one is facility is not there inside Synapse. It will come into some time. And when we click the self hosted and when we give the name like Office Demo Synapse, yeah, then it will generate the same thing. It will say that, OK, go ahead and download uh, integration runtime package or software and install that one and connect to runtime and it will 
connect same way and the same option will come here like we did inside that uh, our uh, ADF. So this is right now connected to ADF. If you want to reconnect this one to this uh, machine also that we can do in we can install uninstall and do that one. So that is how that integration runtime we can connect. And now as we have integration runtime is there, now we have connected to ADF. Now we will see that how we can copy the on-premise uh, SQL Server data to uh, our storage or any other place. So that is what we are going to do into next video. Thank you.